What's up guys, it's Infinity Parks here, I'm back at again after so many years. I've tried recording so many things, but nothing has turned out as good as I hoped, so hopefully this is the start to something brand new, thanks to some new equipment. So, we're back at again in Galaxy of Heroes after, eh, say about four years. Well, a lot has changed in the game since then. Um, Relics, Grievous, Clone Wars, First Order, Resistance, even, and even some Old Republic stuff. But this time, we're in the beginning of The Mandalorian. As you can see here, we have The Mandalorian, Grieve Karga, and Cara Dune to start in this new era of Galaxy of Heroes. After that whole entire debacle of Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and Rey, as you can see, I've not gotten anywhere close to them. Well, today we're starting it off with Cara Dune. So we have Tales from the Outer Rim number one, the marquee event. So we are in Cara Dune. So we join forces with Cara Dune to crush the Empire. So we see here, uh, looks like we got um, 10 shards on the first one. And we have something, we're using Cara Dune. All right, so judging by her kit, she is a scoundrel rebel. So I'm gonna see if I can comprise a good rebel team to go with this. Yep. So as you can see here, I've done some work. All my clone troopers are gear 13. Just a bit of a side note. That's my main project since I didn't want to deal with the whole entire Galactic Legends. I wanted to do some clones. Well, we'll do this. Um, who do you think is a strike team kind of thing? Let's do them, 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 and Han Solo. Where is Han? Han doesn't count during this. Is this count really? Yeah, because Han doesn't count. Hmm. I swear I have a Han. So it's Chewbacca. And I have the Falcon. Hmm. I don't know. Let's do, actually, let's have fun here. Let's do some weird teams. I always wanted to do a, a Akbar. Akbar. Uh, let's do Akbar, Stormtrooper Han, Leia, uh, Chirrut, and eh, why not? Get rid of Leia and do Captain, Cassian Andor, and K2SO. Just to have a little bit of fun here. Just a theory craft. Karadun is a resilient tank who needs her strategy with rebel or scoundrel leaders. Varun Brawler deals damage to target enemy, and Karadun gains stealth as a scoundrel in the leader slot, is in the leader slot, or taunt if a rebel is. So she will taunt, because we have rebel. Oh. Does not have counter chance, so that's okay. Um, ooh! Tons. Oh, let's target him. Whew. I don't like that gun. <laughs> Alright. So it seems like she has a pretty simple kit from reading it from it earlier. Which is weird because she's like the second most prominent character. As counting Mandalorian and Baby Yoda as one character. Even though they're not. But I mean it's kinda weird that we only we don't even have um, the one Ugna dude. Cruelly or whatever his name is. But Maybe we'll get them eventually. I'm hoping for more Empire people from this Mandalorian thing. I mean, yes, the Mandalorian's cool. Baby Yoda's eventually gonna happen. I mean, they would be stupid not to do it. But I wanna see, like, Moff Gideon and um, the Incinerator Stormtrooper. Which... Uh... Yeah. Just to have a flame trooper mechanic, because some to get somebody other than R2D2 with a flamethrower. 
kind of surprised they didn't do a first order um, flamethrower trooper when they did it. They only added the Sith trooper, uh, General Hux, and uh, that's it from the first order and Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. But as you can see, we're already at the end of tier two. As you can see, I'm very much paying attention. But I like Cara Dune's basic and her regular ability. Which seems cool. Now, she gains stealth. She gains. Infiltrator gains. Gives Cara Dune critical chance up, and she gains critical damage up while stealth. Cara Dune loses taunt when she gains stealth at the center of her next turn. And I'll read this uh, special ability because I blaze right through it. So, Infiltrator gives Cara Dune critical chance up and critical damage up while she is stealthed. And when Cara Dune loses taunt, she gets, gains stealth at the start of her next turn. Um, we'll read this one. Improvised strategy. Reasonable in two turns. Cara Dune gains potency after one. Then deals physical damage to all enemies and removes 50% of their turn meter. Empire enemies have a 90% chance to be stunned for one turn, which looks like it's big because it's 90. So you can see. They all had 90% and those three did not get stunned. Alright. She is a beefy tank, it looks like. Oh, these are remnant stormtroopers. Oh, that's cool. I just noticed that. These are remnant stormtroopers. Well. I mean, that's a Remnant Stormtrooper, like the one that we're targeting right now. Are they, yeah, Remnant Stormtrooper Commander. And they look a lot dirtier because they've actually, Remnant. Remnant Recon, Recon Remnant Stormtrooper. Huh. Huh. It's actually kind of cool they actually made a new kind of Stormtrooper for this event that we probably won't get. And look, it's like a different abilities or different portraits and everything different name Come on. all right good thing this is only one tier because if so then this team would probably not last that long I mean, it is a full rebel team with Care Dune on their side, so I, mean, I wouldn't mind. Um, ooh, so this one we get X Rebel Shock Trooper gains, gives Care Dune critical hit immunity and turn meter while an Empire enemy is defeated. When fully upgraded, Care Dune gains turn meter when any un enemy unit is defeated. Fully upgraded when defeated, Care Dune revives, self revives as she had potency up, then she gains potency up for one turn, and we're getting the Mandalorian in this battle so we're gonna see and Mandalorian is in the leader slot which he has a cool kit which I'll read when we do his on the 30th which is in seven days so we'll do a random I say team on here uh, why not throw an emphasis nest in there that I don't have maxed out yet um, another Stormtrooper Han, and yeah, why not IG-88, just to go like, hey, he's IG-11, and we'll put him there. Um, can we actually do Ugnaught in here? Is Ugnaught not a scoundrel? I thought he was. Let's just have the Mandalorian crew in here. Just the fake ones, should I say? And we'll have uh, Hermit Yoda in here to be Baby Yoda, just to have a little bit of fun here. Let's go like, hey, what would it be? Um, I know they're both light side, so we'll do that. We'll do Curly and then Baby Yoda. Mm. Ugnaught, where are you? I know you're at the bottom. There you are. Level 50. And we'll do Hermit Yoda, who's not even leveled up much. But hey, look at that. So, yep, there's their arm, that's their, supposed to be our armband, that symbol at the bottom here, and bottom right. Imperial Officer. And we got Remnant Stormtrooper, Remnant Stormtrooper Commander, Remnant Stormtrooper Recon, Remnant Stormtrooper. 
Ooh. What should we do? Actually, might have slowed this down a bit. Don't do that. Actually, it's pretty cool. That was the one thing I complained about. We'll see in the Mandalorian's kit is that the one attack that we just did, it does not stun. I thought that was a pitiful thing. All right, Ugnaught, do it with your grenade. Nice job. Boom. See, Benny Hunter's is off. He does. Yeah, he does have Bounty Hunters Resolve. Is that just for this event? I don't know. You gotta give the Mandalorian Masters training. <laughs> Why wouldn't he? Should we use that with? We can't select him. Probably, I think it's bounty hunter allies only. You did a good job, baby Yoda. I think, hopefully, there we go. Ooh, contract got enabled. Ooh, I want to do this. Disintegrate. Oof. Yeah, that's a special once he gets his leg um, his contract done. He gets uh, the disintegrate. And let's do this, and we'll get rid of everybody, and we'll do, I don't know, let's have a little fun. Do the, let's do the young clones. Clones with their, just to show off their power. Rex gains tenacity. Get him, give the command to Rex, and then do mass attack. Oh yeah, it's a good thing we went clones. These people are beefy. <laughs> Go Cody again. We gave all the clones sort of high critic chance so Cody can go one after another on that attack. As you can see, Somebody didn't get a crit. Or some people can get double crits. There you go. Good job, Echo. Echo's follow up is the best thing ever. Save that. Stormtrooper commander for Rex. So we should be getting to his aerial advantage pretty soon. Yep, next turn. She is a fast character for me. Let's see, he's already got 95% turn meter. 50%. Let's just focus all fire on him. There we go. All right, Rex, it's your turn. After Kara goes. And go. Out. Ooh, I reached max mod cap. I haven't worked on mods in a while. There we go. And that's the end of Tales from the Outer Rim, number one. Kara Dune. 
we got grief cargo tomorrow so or in three days actually so keep an eye on that and then the Mandalorian's not in here yet but he's in seven days so he should be soon all right let me just collect this real quick and then you'll see activate character Cara Dune Ooh, there she is which I'm gonna have to say I know they did a lot of art for Ray and Kylo Ren and they said their art was good but then they look like I don't know Ray looks like this and Kylo Ren I mean his helmet looks good but like his hair and face eh. but I'm actually not gonna lie to them Cara Dune actually looks damn good and this is even on iPad. There you go. Three star character. Just gonna go along with my other three star characters of Resistance Hero Finn and Resistance Hero Poe. Yep, that's how much it worked. And we'll get her up to, I say, at least 50. That's all I wanted to get was all three of those abilities unlocked. So that's all I needed. There you go. So there she is. She's not higher than Visus Mar yet. Because she was a gear level under her. Yeah, why not? Still not above, but eh, don't need to. The one the character that I'm looking forward to the most is the Mandalorian, and I will upgrade him a ton. Still working on those characters, yep. And as you can see, those are the characters I'm working on just to finally get Jedi Knight Revan. And the clones are all done. I'm working on Shock T slowly, slowly, bit by bit. And that's about it. Hopefully you enjoyed our first part of the Cara Dune of the Mandalorian content in this game. And hopefully you enjoyed and stay tuned for later. Bye.